Yeah. Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com, and today we have Vipul Marotra with us. He is the director of smart devices from Nokia, and we are going to ask him some questions. Uh, hi, welcome, Vipul. Thank you. Thanks for having. Thanks for giving us the time. So my first question is about the strategy of Nokia when it comes to smart devices uh, in 2014. Would you like to say something about it? Sure. So, uh, so smart our smartphone strategy is uh, of course Asha smartphones at the entry level, and then the Lumia smartphones that uh, that we have uh, Lumia 520 to right up to 1520, and cover most price points in between. So uh, our strategy will remain the same that has been in the past, which is a strategy of differentiation and differentiation around uh, experiences like capture and relive, discover and enjoy, which is all about uh, entertainment and gaming, uh, and then uh, about explore and navigate, which is about exploring around even the hero maps. Uh, coupled with uh, the Microsoft operating system, which is the Windows Phone, and the design elements that we bring, so all put together, it will be a strategy of uh, differentiation with the Nokia series. So you will focus more on the user experiences, basically. So it's user experiences, what you can do with the phone, and how it feels in your hand, which is the design element of it. So yes, these two aspects. Okay. And apart from this, we talk about the updates which come to the Windows Phone, as in the OS is concerned. How do you actually collect the feedback from the consumers that uh, we should? Give these features to the consumer. How do you actually take the user feedback into account? Who are actually using the older version of the OS on on your device? How actually, do you it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a, a broader uh, uh, question because we take real-time feedback from consumers on the phone itself, on all Lumias in the, in the settings. There is feedback in Nokia, okay. and we collect NPS score, which is will you promote this phone to your friends, mm -hmm. and then also qualitative feedback. So okay. consumers then write, and we see this across the world. We have a real-time dashboard where we see consumers across the world giving us qualitative feedback and scores on the uh, device. So apart from that, is there any other way in which you actually Absolutely. take the feedback? That Absolutely. is what I want. So uh, what is the live device feedback? So from the consumer itself, mm -hmm. uh, when consumers visit care centers, we get a lot of information okay. from there. Okay. Online is a huge source and a wealth of uh, information that we get. So, as in, when we say that they visit the uh, service centers and they tell the yeah. people over there that I am facing this kind of Correct. issue, this problem. So, this is how you actually correct the feedback. That's one. That's one aspect. Uh, and of course, consumers sometimes don't know what the problem is. Uh, they're not able to define, but we are able to extract what exactly do they need to overcome their different challenges. So, we have care, we have online, we have live device feedback, we have focus groups, uh, and of course, consumers reach out to Nokia directly also. Okay. So as far as Nokia Lumia 525 is concerned, a Nokia Lumia 525 has been announced today. And uh, what can we expect in terms of the availability and the price of this device when it will come to the Indian market? Yeah. So what we did today was to give you a sneak preview of the 525. Uh, we officially start sales uh, sometime in the early part of January. Uh, that's when we will release the price. Usually, as a practice, we release the price just before sales. Mm -hmm. But do expect in the first half of January. Mm -hmm. uh, the global price that we announced in US dollars is uh, 200. So it's not 199 dollars. So using you know conversion, you can actually estimate what the price would be. But the exact number, the exact price, we would of course launch uh, announce only before launch. Okay. Again, uh, related to this, if we compare the 525 to the 520, yeah. the differences which I see are two. Yeah. One is the RAM upgrade right. in which you have made the RAM 500 to 1 GB, right. and second uh, is little bit changes in the build quality right. as far as the back cover is concerned, right. the finishing of that. Yeah. So considering that, uh, when it comes to the pricing which we have for the 520, uh, the pricing. Like, what do you think? The pricing will remain the same, or can you actually give us an idea about that the price will drastically change if you compare the price with the 520 as of now, which is already in the market? Yeah. So uh, the so the 520 is of course operating at uh, maybe a two different price points. Which is one, one is with the buyback option, one is without the buyback option. So mm -hmm. that will remain. Mm -hmm. That remains to be there. Uh, then the uh, 525 would be uh, at trade price of 199 dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can use conversion to figure out where that sits. But uh, it's uh, I, I don't expect a huge gap. But definitely, both complement, both play a role in the uh, in the portfolio, mm -hmm. and uh, you know there are steps between the uh, between the products, you know, uh, pricing. Okay. So as far as uh, dual SIM Lumia phones are concerned, we haven't seen any dual SIM Lumia phones uh, as in the any price segment you can think of, either it is 10K, 15K, or even high-end devices. None of these devices actually come with the dual SIM functionality. So as far as this usage is concerned and the market is concerned, especially for the Lumia phones, not for Asha. Uh, in Asha, you already have dual SIM friends. So when it comes to Lumia phones, what kind of uh, feedback you actually get? Uh, either users are actually wanting this feature in future Lumia phones. Are you actually? Expecting to uh, like provide them in the future. What what can you? Yeah, so we're that? definitely watching the space, and uh, we get uh, feedback. Definitely get feedback. Uh, 
uh, around the usage, uh, there is more demand in the uh, Asha series price points right now. More demand there. And that's where we now focus. Uh, but of course, things are changing. India's smartphone market is rapidly accelerating. Mm -hmm. uh, needs are changing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we continue to watch this space. Uh, and, and you know, uh, so we'll have to, uh, I guess, you know, work through uh, work through the roadmaps in the future. So especially when when we talk about the popular linear device, which is five two zero as of now in India, it has been sold a lot. Yeah. So when it comes to the user feedback, uh, there, are there any specific number of people, or are there any people who have actually asked for this feature at least? Uh, that it's, yes, I, I can't go into specific who asked for what, but uh, I think it's a good point you make. Uh, a lot of people who buy the 520 are very happy with what the 520 has. Okay. We very rarely get uh, any negative feedback on the 520, so it's been a very positive response so far. Yeah. So, uh, okay. as far as other question is concerned, that is Nokia Lumia 1520, which is uh, recently launched in India and it has been launched for a price of 47,000 rupees approximately. And when we compare this price with the price of Nokia Lumia 1020, which is available, I guess, after the price drop at around 41, if I'm correct. So, uh, considering the difference in between these two devices, these two devices are the devices which people are looking for when it comes to high end Windows phones. Right? So, uh, the Nokia Lumia 1520 has 20 megapixel camera. And as far as the technology, if I'm correct over there, it has the same pure view technology with the same kind of image processing. That means you can actually get very good images on the Nokia Lumia 1520 is concerned. Correct. Yes. So, so both have, uh, so you're right, both have pure view technology. The mm -hmm. difference here is, of course, screen size. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, 4.5, this is 6 inches. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the bigger difference is, of course, the camera. This is a 41 megapixel camera. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 20 megapixel sensor camera. So that's the sensor size is different here. Okay. Uh, but the technology of uh, pure view, which is around low light, uh, lossless zoom, optical image stabilization, that's, that's uh, consistent across board. Okay. The main difference, is this shows with a 41 megapixel sensor, so you get more, uh, more pixels. Uh, your capability of zooming is much higher mm -hmm. than the 20 megapixels. So if I take this, take this into account, for example, if you click a picture on the Nokia Lumia 1520, you can actually create further pictures from that bigger picture out there? You can, you absolutely. Can uh, it's just that you get more depth in terms of the pixel okay. density with the, on the, the 10, 20. But you can do the same thing on this device as well. Absolutely. This is pure view, uh, as, as you would see pure view, except the sensor size is different. Okay. So apart from this, if we talk about the other thing which is related to 1320, the Nokia Lumia 1320, which is very, uh, very much awaited in Indian market. And as of now, 1520 is there. When can we expect the availability for the 1320 and if you can actually give us a little bit idea about the pricing, sure. you know, the pricing So, uh, so this is what that. we uh, gave a sneak review of the Lumia 1320 which is officially globally unveiled at mm -hmm. the Nokia world. Mm -hmm. Um, so the plan is to bring this li like the 5 to 5 also in the first half of January uh, and the ex exact Indian uh, rupee pricing, INR pricing will of course be announced just before sales start. Uh, the global indication you've given for this at retail is uh, USD uh, 335. So again using conversions you can guesstimate what the price point will be but the exact number is something we will only release uh, just as sales start. So can we actually assume that again this device has the same display but a little bit lower on the hardware as compared to the 1520? Can we expect to have a, a halfway kind of a price or something like that on this device? Yeah, so uh, you know, so from looking, looking at the global pricing we have announced, 335 gives you a good indication of that. Uh, but in terms of the display, this is also a 6 inch display, 3400 milliamp battery. So pretty much gives you a full fledged 6 inch fabric experience at an affordable price point. Okay. It would be an affordable price. That's right. Thank you for all that. Right. Thanks for Thanks. your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's all from us. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.